This is Funky Worms, and this is my computer security for Poker Player series. Uh, this is going to be part two of my password policies video. Uh, it's just sort of an addendum since my since part one ran a little long, and I had to uh, be a little quick at the end there. I'd just like to show you exactly how the master password works in Firefox, and then. Um, show you a little bit about the features that KeePass Password Safe has. Uh, so master passwords in Firefox. So the way you access it is going to tools and then options, uh, the security tab. If you want to view your passwords, it'll ask you to input your master password. Okay, so this is the screen you get. Uh, you won't actually see your password unless you click show passwords and then it's going to ask you to see to enter your master password again. So this protection is just in case you have your master password uh, entered and you leave your computer but you leave a Firefox session open. Someone can't sit down at your computer and just look at all of your passwords uh, by going to this screen they have to enter your master password again to have access to the whole list of your passwords which is a very smart security feature in my opinion okay so I entered my master password again and now I can view uh, all my passwords if I had a lot of uh, accounts saved you know I would see all of them here so that's a nice security feature in Firefox A quick note, I know a lot of people will say that you shouldn't use browsers to remember your passwords, but uh, Firefox, in combination with a master password, is the exception to the rule. Or I, su I suppose it should be the rule, and the other browsers are the exceptions. I can't speak for Chrome. I'm not sure about exactly about their security features, but you should never let Internet Explorer remember your passwords. Do not store any passwords in Internet Explorer. Uh, they are trivial to retrieve. Uh, they do not offer a master password feature and that is a problem. So let's look at how the master password actually works here. Okay, so I've entered my master password and therefore uh, when I visit Gmail all of my information is already inputted. Uh, let me open some more Firefox windows and then close them. And even if I close this one and go to Gmail, uh, my password is still going to be there. Uh, but once I close all of my Firefox windows, when I go back to Gmail, it's going to require me to enter my master password again. to uh, access the password. And once you enter your master password once, then you have access. You won't have to enter it again uh, on another site as long as you keep a Firefox session open. But like I said, once you close that Firefox session, uh, you'll be required to enter your master password again. But it's still much more convenient than opening KeePass and copying and pasting every time you want to uh, access a site that requires a password. So um, that is Firefox Master Passwords. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about that. Uh, and now let's go to Key Pass. All right, let's look at some of the uh, extra security features of Key Pass. We go to Tools and then Options. Okay, so you can lock your workspace after a certain amount of idle time. Uh, you can set the time limit for the auto clear on your clipboard when you use the uh, the copy feature built into KeePass. Uh, if you open up uh, this entry here and physically do a Control C to copy your password, uh, it will remain in your clipboard until you copy something else. So that's not the. I mean, if you're really worried about keyloggers, 
which at the end of the series I hope you are not worried about keyloggers because you will have proper security procedures in place and the chance of you being infected by a keylogger will be close to zero. I don't it it, it is actually much closer to zero than uh, it, it's very close to zero. I'll just put it that much. Uh, but yeah, if you click copy, it's just going to remember it for 12 seconds. But anyways, uh, if you follow what I tell you to do, you're not going to get infected with a keylogger. Um, so, so we want to lock the workspace when minimizing the main window. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Uh, you definitely want to lock the workspace when locking windows, switching users, or sleeping. Uh, you want to lock the workspace after some sort of idle time, uh, just in case you forget to close it. Uh, maybe put it 10 minutes. Uh, and we go to interface. And I like to set the close button to minimize the main window instead of terminating the application. That'll force the uh, application to the uh, toolbar down here, or taskbar I suppose it's called. Uh, and minimize to tray instead of taskbar. And there we go. So when we close it here, it minimizes it down here. Um, so for security, we say lock lock workspace when minimizing main window. And then when we click the X, we go down here, and you see that this little uh, red circle with a line through it. That means it's locked. We double click on it, and we have to enter our master password again. So this is uh, some of the security features of KeePass. Uh, as I mentioned before, KeePass, your database is stored as a KDBX file if you're using KeePass 2.x. Uh, if you're using 1.x, then it's just .kdb. But you should make multiple copies of this file and store them on an external hard drive or a USB drive. Uh, you should also be it's uh, if you're using a backup program, you should be syncing this file uh, with an online backup or some sort of remote backup. Uh, you should definitely keep one of these files synced at a uh, remote location uh, for safety, just in case uh, for some whatever reason, if there's a fire at your place and all of your hard drives are destroyed, you don't want to lose all of your account information. Uh, but if you're using a backup program, it's fairly easy to just sync up uh, this this file. So keeping backups of this file is very important. Um, if you think for some reason that you're going to forget your master password, I think the best option is to write it down and put it in a safety deposit box. Uh, I know that might seem extreme, but that's really the only thing I can think of that ensures that no one has access to it but you in the event that you forget it. Now if you forget your key to your safety deposit box, I can't really help you. So um, I just wanted to do this little addendum and it's turning out to be just as long as the original video but uh, because I didn't get to explain things thoroughly in the part one. But if you have any questions uh, post in the thread or uh, send me an IM and uh, this is uh, how to use a password proper password policy for uh, professional online poker players <laughs>